Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Shreya Sabache. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 16th of June. Three Indian soldiers killed in violent face-off on border with China. Kremlin infrastructure continues to afflict locals in Pakistan-administered Kashmir. And Bangladesh police turn to yoga to boost mental health amid pandemic. And now for all the details. In the first loss of lives on the disputed India-China border in at least 45 years, the Indian Army on Tuesday said it lost one officer and two soldiers in a violent face-off in the Galwan Valley in the mountainous region of Ladakh on Monday night. A statement from Indian Army said senior military officials from both sides were meeting to defuse the situation. News reports said that some Indian soldiers were also missing. Tensions between the two armies have been running high on the border since reports of a scuffle between the soldiers of both sides in Ladakh and Sikkim came in early last month. Both the armies have since mobilized and deployed a large number of soldiers and heavy military equipment along the line of actual control. China's foreign ministry said it was unaware of the incident and warned India not to take unilateral action or stir up trouble. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday held a meeting with chief ministers across India to assess the current situation amid the coronavirus pandemic. The total number of infections stood at 343,091 on Tuesday in the world's fourth most hit nation. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday held a meeting with chief ministers of 21 provinces and administrators of union territories across India to assess the current situation amid the coronavirus pandemic. PM Modi said India's fight against coronavirus will be remembered in the future for how we work together and served as an example of cooperative federalism, while highlighting recovery rate has gone above 50% in the country despite eased lockdown restrictions. India on Tuesday witnessed a spike of 10,667 COVID-19 cases with 380 deaths in the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 343,091 in the world's fourth most hit country after the United States, Brazil and Russia. हमारे लिए किसी एक भारतीय की भी मृत्यु असहज करने देने वाली है लेकिन यह भी सच है कि आज भारत दुनिया के उन देशों में है जहां कोरोना की वजह से सबसे कम मृत्यु हो रही है Meanwhile, U.S. Ambassador to India Kenneth Jester on Tuesday handed over the first tranche of 100 ventilators to India to tackle the coronavirus outbreak. This comes at a time when India's capital New Delhi is fast running out of hospital beds amid a surge in coronavirus cases and is struggling to contain the pandemic. Three militants were killed in an encounter with security forces in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory on Tuesday. A senior police official said 94 terrorists have been neutralized so far in the region this year. Three militants were gunned down by security forces in Shopian district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir territory on Tuesday. The gun battle broke out after police, army and Central Reserve Police Force jointly launched a search operation based on specific inputs about the terrorists in Turukwangam area of Shopian. Inspector General of Police Srinagar Region Vijay Kumar said the operation was clean and there was no collateral damage. 
the identity of the slain militants is being ascertained. कल रात में श्रीनगर पुलिस को एक इतला मिला था कि सोपियन में एक गांव है तुरुवंगम वहां पर कुछ टेरिस्ट हैं फिर आर्मी पुलिस सीआरपी तीनों ने मिलके कॉर्डन डाला और सर्च के दौरान में इनकाउंटर हुआ उस इनकाउंटर में तीन मिलिटेंट मारे गए हैं There has been a spate in encounters in Jammu and Kashmir with at at least seven gun fights erupting in June alone and 94 terrorists have been killed this year by the Indian security forces in the region. Moving on, crumbling infrastructure in Pakistan administered Kashmir continues to afflict lives of local in the illegally occupied region. The persisting condition has created a worrisome environment for the public. The poor condition of roads and absence of proper education and healthcare facilities continue to make life miserable for people living in remote districts of Pakistan administered Kashmir. Locals say the authorities do not pay any heed to the request and accuse it as part of Islamabad's agenda to keep the illegally occupied region underdeveloped. They say the patience has given away after no hospitals, schools and basic facilities are in sight to be developed in near future ki hospital jo hai district health quarter hatiyan hai jo usme basic necessity jo safai ke lihaz se bhi dekha jaye to wo sanitizer ki aaj baat karte hain ya aur jo na safety measure ki baat karte hain wahan par hospital ke andar pani tak nahi maujood hai is tarah yani kisi bhi gaon ki aap aap ja kar dekhein to surat hal ye hogi ke wahan par kachchi raste tak nahi hai logon ke aur bahut sare logon ne aise bhi kiya hai ke ek People of Pakistan administered Kashmir have been waiting for years now for a better administration that could work for their development. However, the corruption and ignorance in the system has become a major challenge for the growth of the region, living its future in dark. Non-profit humanitarian medical organization. Doctors Without Borders has announced it is closing its maternity clinic in Afghan capital Kabul following the deadly gun attack last month which killed 24 people including newborn babies. Doctors Without Borders, an international non-profit humanitarian medical organization has announced it is closing its maternity clinic in Afghan capital Kabul due to fears of terror attacks in the war torn country the decision comes after the maternity clinic was attacked by three gunmen last month and killed 24 people including new mothers and babies no group has claimed responsibility for the may 12th attack on the clinic run by the international health agency which is also known by its french name medicines sans frontieres or msf MSF on Monday in a statement said that while no information had emerged about the perpetrators or motive of the assault mothers babies and health staff were its deliberate target and similar attacks may repeat in the future the united states blamed islamic state's regional affiliate while the afghan government blamed the taliban with tonight involvement Bangladeshi police has started yoga practice for its officers in capital Dhaka to make them physically and mentally fit at a time when coronavirus is spreading rapidly in the country. With more than 7000 Bangladeshi police infected with the novel coronavirus, officials are hoping yoga will boost immunity and relieve stress for the officers. In an effort to strengthen officers' mental strength during the pandemic, a yoga session was organized on Monday in capital Dhaka, in which over 200 police officers participated. This was the first ever yoga session held for Dhaka police since the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak. The Dhaka police plan to make yoga sessions routine for its officers who are serving on the front line of the country's battle against the deadly virus. 
রাস্তায় ডিউটি করতে গিয়ে তারা এফেক্টেড হচ্ছিল তো এই জন্য তাদের মানসিক শক্তি এবং শারীরিক সক্ষমতা যেটা আগের থেকেও বৃদ্ধি করা দরকার ছিল এই জন্য আমরা এই যোগব্যায়ামটা তাদের জন্য চালু করেছি যাতে তাদের মানসিক শক্তি এবং প্রশান্ত মনে তারা তাদের কাজ করে যেতে পারে যে করোনার হার যেভাবে বৃদ্ধি পেয়েছিল সেখান থেকে আমরা উত্তরণ ঘটেছি আমাদের ফোর্স এখন অনেক সুস্থ যেভাবে মৃত্যুর হার বেড়ে যাচ্ছিল তার থেকে আমরা উত্তরণ ঘটেছি As of Tuesday, there were 90,619 confirmed COVID-19 cases and 1,209 associated deaths in Bangladesh. In news from Nepal, residents of Kathmandu on Monday urged the governments of Nepal and neighboring India to resolve the ongoing border row between the two nations through dialogue. The reaction comes after the Nepal's parliament endorsed a new map of the country which includes areas disputed with India. Residents of Nepal's capital Kathmandu on Monday urged the governments of Nepal and neighboring India to resolve the border row issue going on between the two nations through dialogue. The reaction comes after both the houses of Nepal's parliament endorsed the new map of the country which includes strategically key areas of Kalapani, Lipu Lake and Limpiathura disputed with India. The move to approve new map signals a hardening of Nepal's position over a decades long border row that has strained ties between the South Asian neighbors. <laughs> खासमा त अब ठुल्ठुलो नेताहरुको कुरा हो हैन अब हामीले पनि अब त्यसमा चाहिँ सपोर्ट गर्नु पर्छ आफ्नो देशको लागि हैन अब उनीहरुले पनि अब उनीहरु देशको लागि त्यो त अब सपोर्ट त गरि नै हालछ हैन कसरी हुन्छ अब यसको विवाद नगरिकन अब उनीहरु मिलेर राम्रोसँग जाँदा चाहिँ अब छिमेकी राष्ट्र हो हैन मिलेर जाँदा चाहिँ राम्रो हुन्छ जस्तो लाग्छ अब भारतसँग सल्तानको लागि हामीले अब नेपालको सरकारलाई के गर्न पर्ने कुटनीतिक हिसाबले पहल त गर्न पर्यो अहिले नक्सामा एउटा का तुमार नक्सा राखेर भएन त्यहाँ चाहिँ India's foreign ministry has rejected Nepal's new map, arguing that addition of Indian territory is not based on historical fact or evidence and termed the claims by Nepal as artificial enlargement. During the coronavirus pandemic, when being hopeful and positive has become the need of the hour, a family in India's southern Chennai city is using art to be calm and divert their minds to something creative. The family has been painting on liquor bottles and walls during free time and has turned their house into an art museum. A family in Chennai city of India's southern Tamil Nadu province looked beyond the gloom of coronavirus lockdown and turned it into an opportunity to create art. The art lovers use liquor bottles and painted walls to turn their house into an art museum. While one of the family members used his skills to paint murals, the other painted bottles to add a dash of color and life and turn the dull lockdown days upside down. Then I asked my brother, can I do painting in my wall? Then I, uh, he said, just try in bottles. Then I asked him to uh, bring bottles for my, for my work. Then I started doing bottle works and it came very well. Then I uh, started to do many bottles uh, from my lockdown starting. Uh, when the lockdown started at uh, lockdown 1.0, uh, I, uh, I got fr frustrated at first. I was just watching TV, lockdown in, inside the house and not let out my parents. Um, just roaming inside, ins within the roof and uh, chatting with friends. Indian government imposed a nationwide lockdown in late March that has since been loosened. One of the few positive byproducts of coronavirus and the subsequent lockdown was many have seen this as a chance to try new things and learn new arts while sitting at home. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन